Hello, 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 hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? Let me turn that TV, TV. Let me turn that radio off, the car radio off, before I get copyrighted, as they tend to say on YouTube. Anyway, how are you doing? Hope you're doing fine. This is a post for uh, Learning Curve. My name is Sylvia Smith. And I am the curator of Learning Curve. I'm um, posting here from U the UK, more specifically Middlesex, which is just outside of London. So uh, I hope that gives you a bit of an orientation as to where I am posting from. Um, this post relates to the work I do as a social work educator. And it struck me that sometimes my students ask questions that might be um, quite useful to post here on, um, on YouTube as part of my offerings on my channel. I thought, hmm, that might be something useful to do. So this morning I had a couple of questions from a student I'm supervising uh, at the moment, and she is in her final year of a, a master's degree and clearly is is wanting sort of help with this particular issue because it can be a tough one uh, this particular professional issue I should say and essentially what she what she asked me this morning was how do you deal with working in an environment where the other professionals or the colleagues that you're working with do not share the same values or ethical position that you maintain um, as a social worker. Um, the example that she shared, I won't go into details because of confidentiality, but I think the important question is, you know, how do you how do you manage it? How do you cope? And as I sort of pondered on that question, I mean, I, I gave her a response, but then I, I, I pondered further on it and began to think that it's probably applicable to a lot of us who may be working in environments where we're working with other disciplines, other professionals. Um, to be fair, other disciplines, other professionals hold core um, values, I guess. They're, they're generally similar, particularly if you're working in the helping environment. The, the core values tend to be similar across the various helping disciplines. But then there are times, obviously, when you come across uh, colleagues who come from a particular perspective um, which is probably more akin to I, I don't even know how to put this but more akin to what ordinary um, the ordinary members of the public have you know they possess they possess similar similar uh, views and I think what's so special about our profession as as social workers is that we are trained to a large extent to we're trained to be accepting of difference be accepting of self identification i.e. what people identify themselves as or how they identify themselves we accept that that's that's the position that we come from of course there are exceptions if for instance there is sort of behavior that could potentially put a, a child at risk or a vulnerable person at risk then of course those things are, are challenged more more kind of um, robustly but for the most part we tend to work from a position of where the client or the service user is and that can be a struggle for a lot of people because you know a lot of people and I'm not when I say a lot of people I don't exclude myself 
because we 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 tend to hold views and values um, that you know first and foremost are derived from our our backgrounds, our family backgrounds, our religious beliefs, our, our ph- philosophical standpoints. You know, so we're all we're all kind of affected by our environments and and families and so on. Um, but as I say, in terms of our profession as social workers, be it um, as a clinical worker or someone who works more in policy or, you know, education, um, we have as a core belief uh, and as a core value that we work with a diverse range of people and we work with them based on where they are so that was essentially the kind of response I gave her and um, I suppose I gave her a couple of options she can either confront the the intolerant position i.e. if she's working with people who or colleagues who um, whose views are somewhat offensive to her um, as a social worker or she can be accepting of the fact that you know not everyone is going to feel the same way as we do as social workers and choose your battles really that's that's my advice because I always I suppose come from a position of of self-preservation you are absolutely no good to anyone if you spend all your time at war and then find yourself burning out so choose your battles there are times when it's worth taking up a position quite robustly and quite strongly and there are other times it really isn't because you're not necessarily going to significantly change that person's view what you should be more concerned about is how they are treating the service user or the client and whether that is negatively impacting on the service user or client and if those boundaries are crossed uh, then I would certainly say it's worth challenging Um, but otherwise take care of yourself you don't want to be in in a battle every single day that is no recipe for longevity so that's my view if you see it differently or you have a similar outlook please respond in the comment box below Um, it would be good to start up a conversation about this particular issue I think this will be this will be a a regular feature as well because um, there are times when I am asked questions or I have reflections based on my contact with either students or service users or other colleagues Um, and it's a great place to have a bit of an outlet to just express those things and speak those things um, out loud and uh, start up the conversation. If you would also like to follow me so we can continue our conversation, our dialogue, please do press the red bell below if this is on YouTube. Um, I will probably post, well not probably, I'm definitely going to post this on Facebook, but if you're watching this on YouTube, press the notification uh, bell below, which is the red bell below this, this post. And then whenever I do post anything on YouTube, you will be made aware of it. Have a fantastic day. I'm actually on my way to the radio station now to do a couple of hours with Hayes FM. So you take good care and drop into Hayes FM sometime, www.hayesfm.org.uk. And uh, yeah, hear what's occurring. Bye.